Oh, hey there. Thanks for clicking on this video. Today's video is going to be about the dangers of Marxism, uh, which is an ongoing theme on my channel. Uh, but we're going to talk about Marx's poetry on this video. So if that sounds a little boring, um, I dare you to stay tuned because I think you'll be surprised. Hey, if this is the first time you've clicked on my video or uh, you've seen my channel, thanks for clicking on this video. I appreciate it. Uh, I hope to entertain you and inform you. Uh, we talk about religion and politics on this channel, and that's relevant in today's climate, obviously, <laughs> for what's going on. So um, today's video, I'm going to do a little kind of low-tech demonstration here, some, some printouts that I've made. I've made a couple of videos already about uh, Marxism in general. In case you've been living under a rock all these years, Marxism is basically, you know, from Karl Marx. Okay, he wrote the Communist Manifesto. I am making these videos now because I've discovered that a lot of people are not really aware too much. I mean, you may have heard of, you know, you've, you've probably heard of communism. Maybe some of you have heard of Marxism. I think very, very, very few of you have ever read his poetry. Okay, so that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. I think when you, you see some of these expert excerpts that I'm going to uh, highlight here, you might be surprised. You might be like, oh my God. Okay, so let me know in the comments section as you're watching this video if you're surprised. Um, so the first one I'm going to point out, by the way, you can, you can do a Google search. I got all of these printouts from Marxist.org, uh, plural. And if you go on that site initially, it's kind of... Um, convoluted. So I would recommend doing a Google search for Marx's poetry. Okay, and that'll lead you uh, more directly to where is on the site that highlights his poetry. Anyways, I, I've skipped all that to save you guys some time. So the first one I'm going to highlight here is on Hegel. Okay, and uh, I think what I'm going to do here is I'll just read it to you and then I'll, I'll kind of show you the words as I'm going along. So, um, if, if <laughs> so, you guys can kind of see this, okay? Now, as I'm as I'm holding this up, I guess I'll just kind of go ahead and read from my computer screen because I can't really read that. Words I teach all mixed up into a devilish muddle. Thus, anyone may think just what he chooses to think. Never, at least, is he hemmed in by strict limitations. What does that sound like to you? <laughs> yeah, okay, this was written about 175 years ago in the 1800s. The stuff that we're experiencing today is directly pulled from Marx's writing. Even before he wrote the Communist Manifesto, it's my assertion, uh, my belief, my stance, I guess you could say on the matter, that uh, Marx knew exactly what he was doing when he wrote this. Bubbling out of the flood, plumb plummeting down from the cliff, so are his beloved words and thoughts that the poet devises. He understands what he thinks, freely invents what he feels. Thus, each may for himself suck wisdom's nourishing nectar. Now you know all, since I've said plenty of nothing to you. Again, what does that sound like to you? That sounds like, okay, when you hear people say my truth, and you say that, well, you know, what's, why is misinformation occurring in our society? I know that these are just poems, okay, but you have to understand that just like the Bible inspires people to do good things in the world, uh, Marx's poetry, in, in my best estimation, you can call me crazy, I, I don't really care, uh, in my best estimation, um, this is what's, causing a lot of the problems. Um, 
I mean, obviously the, the layered effect of that is something more like socialism, communism. Uh, you could even go further and say feminism because it affects both sexes due to a low birth rate overall. But to, to get to the crux of the matter, um, I think a lot of people have heard the term my truth in recent times. And so that first quote that I mentioned um, is pretty critical. So that's from a poem called On Hegel. Okay, so if you want to if you want to look that one up, I don't recommend getting into this if you do not have a strong belief in God, because obviously a lot of people have fallen victim to this, uh, specifically because they do not believe in a higher power. Okay, so we're gonna keep going here. This one is called uh, Invocation of One in Despair. And this one, uh, I've only highlighted one little piece of text here. Okay. Hopefully you can read that. Make my strength a patchwork of what's weak. And then right underneath it, it says, uh, leave my better self without reward. Now, <laughs> to me, that sounds like victimhood status. When you say, make my strength a patchwork of what's weak, what does that sound like to you? Doesn't that sound like you're doing the race to the bottom? Doesn't that sound kind of like what DEI is? You know, make my strength a patchwork of what's weak. Anyways, that one's called Invocation of One in Despair, which again is, is uh, you know, to Marx's credit, a, a perfect title for what DEI is. Okay, so you can look that one up too. Go ahead and Google that one. But like I said, if you're atheist, I recommend not looking this stuff up. Only look this stuff up if you have a strong belief in God. That goes for Muslims too, if you're watching my channel. Obviously, I'm Christian, okay? I got the, the cross right there. I put it in the frame for a reason. But I am speaking to all God-fearing people with my videos. So I'm just trying to call attention to, um, you know, some things that people might not hear on their mainstream news, okay? And I don't really care at this point if I get 10 views or 100 views or whatever. Because if I just reach one person, then you can share this with the next person. And... That's all I really care about, is just sharing the information. So uh, this next one, these are all found on Marxist.org, or like I said, I recommend doing a, a Google search for Marxist poetry because the Marxist.org website is kind of, <laughs> surprise, surprise, it's confusing. Um, anyways, this last one um, is also right along the lines of what we've been experiencing over the last three and a half years. It's called The First Elegy. Okay, so if you want to look that up, and I will load the next one so I can read it and show it to you guys. So, um, this one is a little bit more pointed towards like Christianity. The frightened lamb that gets away from the wolf's fangs will not again ever feel safe unless it lie huddled inside the low-walled pen. Now, to me... That sounds a lot like um, no privacy, you know, government intrusion. I mean, if you read that carefully, you know, the frightened land that gets away from the wolf's fangs will not again ever feel safe unless it lies huddled inside the low-walled pen. As in, you should not value, uh, according to Marx, I'm not saying this, but according to Marx and communism, you should not value private property. You should not value, uh, you know, property lines. You should, obviously, you shouldn't value walls. Um, it literally says a, a low-walled pen. And it's an oxymoron. How is someone supposed to feel safe? I mean, if, literally, if you're like in a, you know, a pen or something, you know there's a wolf out there. How would you feel safe by having a low-walled pen. 
It's because Marx himself was satanic. Now, I'm going to keep on saying this. This is going to be like a, a whole new theme of videos that I'm going to start making um, to try to bring this out to the public because I feel like this has been shown to me in Revelation, even though I, I, this is stuff has been going on for a while. I mean, this poetry is not new. Like I said, it's 175 years old. It's just that I think our public education system has not bothered to show people uh, what we're dealing with. Okay, this is not exactly a new ideology that we're dealing with. And if you understand that Marx references Satan in some of his poems, it's going to make a lot more sense to you moving forward why you might have an extreme amount of frustration trying to debate somebody that you would consider leftist, okay? Marx himself condones lying, just like Satan is the father of all lies. The reason why I think it's important to mention his poetry is because it's, it's like the most critical root evidence of what Marx's true intentions were and, you know, to, to my opinion, still are. In other words, just like Jesus' words will go through people, well, so would Satan's, okay? So it's really important to know thy enemy. If you like this video, make sure to share it with someone you love. Thanks for watching.